I find someone taking beer, I'm like, I want to smell that. <laughs> yeah. Beer. So. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh my god you know i once did that to a couple we went somewhere and uh, this couple was taking beer yeah and they opened and that smell oh my god i, I took a glass hi can you pull it quickly yeah so the couple loved and they were like okay kisha smell could you give me Welcome to Pray to Love by Gracie Kirapo. We are here at After the Sea at the Village Market and this is our very first episode and we are talking to amazing people. So right before we continue, I would like to introduce my guests to you who are Joanne, the career coach, and of course Pika Narate, who are here to grace our show. Straight to my guest, I have the amazing uh, Joanne. I know many people know you as coach, uh, Joanne the coach, the career coach, but he don't know your official name. So I'm a career coach. Yeah, I work very closely with individuals or groups of people to help them increase their chances of learning the So, you know, be it things to be, it will come to be, the traffic preparation, career coaching, all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And above all, your moms. Yes, a mom of three. All three boys, yeah. Even is three, but a few months. Mm -hmm. Then my son Miles is turning two years in March. Yes. Uh, sorry, uh, on, on 25th of this month. Mm -hmm. And then Noah. Noah no is the youngest. Yeah, Noah is the youngest. Returning four months. Four months. Mm -hmm. We need to know how he's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and you look like you don't even have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to talk in your So thank you. Well, that's Joanne. We have Pika Narrate. Yes. It's a good man. You too. I'm a bit of a bit of a man. Wait. So my name is Rachel. I'm a really good girl. Allah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm a mother <laughs> of three. Uh, one in heaven. Two. Here with us, yes. and um, I'm a social media influencer. I'm a YouTuber. You're a chef. You cook. A, yes, I cook. I'm a cook. I'm a self-taught chef. Self-taught, yeah. With no school, no training, nothing. It's just a bunch of people who are simply like in sour. Who is not told not to be done at that? Yeah, no, no. And apart from being a mother, you're all this, and this is what I want to capture. First of all, finding out your friend baby number one is Hazel. Yeah, Hazel is such a beautiful name. Thank you. It's a beautiful name. So Hazel, finding out you're pregnant with Hazel. First of all, did you do the stick or did you go to to the hospital? Okay, so just to backtrack, so before Hazel, I, I actually thought I couldn't get pregnant. Okay. So I remember even for the pregnancy, you know, that just kept praying and, and you know waiting. But then like every time there's that fear at least at least, because then previously, you know, um, I, 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 I thought I was not capable of carrying a baby to term. Okay. So when I found out I was pregnant with Hazel, yes, I was excited, but then now the fear because mm -hmm. of the previous multiple, you know, uh, uh, miscarriages. Yeah. Um, so it was, yeah, so I was excited, but then also I was scared. You can imagine, yeah. So there was mixed feelings, it's say. Yes, excitement. How many miscarriages could you have? Um, like, like many, multiple, you know, like, like multiple. Um, so, so, so I actually knew I was not, uh, it was impossible for me to carry a baby to town okay. because each and every time you know, I got pregnant, I lost the baby. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm really sorry to go, but yeah, but here you are, mother of three, mm -hmm. yes. yes. So, I don't know, I, I feel like we now all of us have a similar story, you know. <laughs> I didn't think you I'm thinking. I think when I found out I was pregnant to the second baby, the first thing was, is this all going to stay? You know, I. It's not about me. Let's come back to you first before <laughs> yes. I start getting deep. So, Rach, mm -hmm. you said you also had a lot of three yes. are here. Yeah. One is in heaven. Yes. Um, how was it? Was this the first baby that you lost? Yeah, it was the first baby. I lost through an ectopic pregnancy. So, I lost a baby and lost a tube at the same time. I basically don't have. The left tube. Okay. Yeah, so I usually use one tube. 
then of course when you realize you're pregnant again you get scared and when I went to hospital I got a scare because the doctor told me uh, uh, you might be having another ectopic pregnancy so it was so bad when I found out I was pregnant with now with our second baby who is now five you see God so now I'm imagining the thoughts in your, the, you know, the process thing in your mind. Um, this is an ectopic pregnancy that I just had, mm. and then the second baby. I'm fearing that this is also going to happen. The doctor is almost confirming that. Yes. So how was that feeling? It was bad. Oh, yeah. I, I remember it like it was yesterday because I personally thought the doctor was too blunt. Yeah. <laughs> like I wish he did. Yeah, I, yeah. I wish he could have maybe waited for my husband to get to hospital and tell me i can see yes you're pregnant um i can see there's uh, an empty sack and i can see something on your other tube and i'm suspected it might be another ectopic pregnancy it was bad i scre i remember I, ah, it was bad so especially before i before i my husband came to get me mm -hmm. Oh my god, everyone was thinking I'm crazy or I, I don't know, yeah. it was bad. Yeah. Here you are, two babies hey, later, yeah. and imagine yeah. you have, like you said, one super you're able to bring forth two yes. beautiful babies. Yes. You're looking to have another one. I want to put the kid on confirm. Okay, yeah, take you to confirm, but me not confirm. Just that I'm not going to be so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking at walking past now, first trimester, second trimester, third trimester, maybe what was your hardest with now baby and his year? With his year, let me see. So I think, as we've said, for me what was like very hard was, you know, month, on, month after month just like waiting um, and, you know, like getting scared that our, you, know, you might like lose the baby and then um, the f for me, I, I, I find first trimester, uh, first trimester, uh, the first trimester is very, very difficult because the nausea and uh, especially the nausea, you know, like headaches, I remember, things like some headaches. Um, yeah, I think for me, first trimester, I measure me difficult, and then now towards the till end, when you can't walk. Oh, yeah, but the baby's <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> You can't walk, like you have to, you know, pee for seven times in a day, you can't sleep, you know, just waking up on the bed wait. is like, like you, you, just, you just about to go to Bosia and say, I, this baby needs to come out today. Remove this like, baby. Ah, no. That's what I told my daughter, I didn't remove this <laughs> Remove this thing. But I'm just imagining, um, even as you're going through this, did you have somebody walking with you? Like, past trimester, you're having this nausea, as you're having this... Uh, feeling. Did you have somebody who was there, like a lady who had gone ahead of you? Because uh, this was your first pregnancy, like yeah. Um, yeah. Did you have somebody who was working with you? So I think I was very fearful mm -hmm. of giving the call. I was allowing around that space because of what had happened to you. Um. So you know, no, I, I wouldn't say. But of course, like Google was my friend. <laughs> Every yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> headache. What, what might this? That's <laughs> trimester headache. Mean, uh, what yeah. does this mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so you wouldn't say there was anybody specific. No, no, I wouldn't say. Okay. Okay. But I'm imagining you had your gyna appointments and often, we, you know, like, like, the like clockwork. But I, I did not miss any appointments, like anything, because then again, of the, you know, like this. Yeah. So I was very, very careful. Yes. Very careful to eat when to take my uh, supplements. Mm -hmm to exercise uh you know like all those things and of course like above all pray yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 i think you dance eh? yeah i was looking at her pregnant yes. Elsie, and like, why are you getting the energy yeah. mama yeah. i do right <laughs> <laughs> excellent <laughs> i'm so clean <laughs> i'm so clean i saw you dancing in your video i'm thinking why are you getting the energy and you were so happily pregnant joan you're a super <laughs> It's part of the exercise. So depending on what we're not put it's a video. Maybe in one of them, Nana Kuta Kuta. She was over there dancing, you know? But anyway, hats off, man. But you read, trimesters are different, like read Joanne was saying. Were you similar to what you read? What was your experience? With my first baby, let me start from there. I was just dramatic. 
my first you were driving I, I think first of all i was excited that i'm now pregnant yeah. the yeah. pregnancy has been approved uh -huh. so i was all out you know i was so energetic with my okay. first baby i was just dramatic i want this i want this i find someone taking beer i'm like i want to smell that <laughs> yeah so <laughs> Oh, the yes. oh my god, you know, I once did that to a couple. We went somewhere, and uh, this couple was taking beer. Yeah, and they opened and that smell. Oh my god, I, I took a glass. Hi, can you come with me? So that I can, yeah. So the couple laughed and they were like, Okay, Kisha smell. Could you <laughs> give it? Did they see you were pregnant? Yeah, they, yeah, they saw, yeah, they saw I was pregnant because I was really pregnant that time. Now, with my first. With my second baby, it was yeah. it was not funny <laughs> because I could not even shower. It was mm. that bad. Yes, I could not even shower. Like I was sleeping twenty four seven. The whole pregnancy from trimester one to the last trimester. Yes, I had a position. You know the way I love hosting and all that. That time I didn't want anyone in my house. All my trimesters were bad. I could hear people come in my house and like, no, not again, not them, tell them to go. No, and my friends are noisy. I get it, you know, my friends, like, you know, Jesus, they are noisy. I'm like, no, I don't want them in my house. Was this a condition that you had? Was this the doctor's uh, spiritual? No, was this it was the pregnancy. Just, it didn't want people. It didn't want people. It didn't want to, to shower. No, you can't talk about so I had a spot. My husband can tell you I didn't sleep in his bed or rather in our bed him. for the like almost nine months of our break. You just went to the specific place. Yes, a specific place which was my couch. Yeah. Yeah. And if you come visit me, please get Once another space for yourself because yeah, I love to cook, but yeah. please, if you come in my house, get in the kitchen because I'm not doing that. Okay. Yes, please. Yeah, so my second one was bad, actually. <laughs> it Wait. was bad. But this baby is such a diva. You can't tell this baby was not shouting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. <laughs> but I could go even for two days. Yes. But it's okay. Well, chop, okay, you chase that on my It's okay. Me na shina ni melala. Me na niu liza. Me na niu liza. So my husband is the one who was like, babe, let's just... Let's... I'll take you. Perhaps. I'll help you. Let's go. <laughs> Did you chase people out of the room at time? Uh, I hear we've been chased with their husbands and like, we are sent but in the world. I don't pass man now. I, I, I apologize, doctor. Like I said, baby, I'm so. Yeah. It was not me. Yeah. I did not brush man. I'll wake him up and I'll be like, you're right. He's sick when I'm squeezer. So at least you I just didn't out. want noise. I just didn't want anyone to interfere with my space. Okay. Yes, and which was shocking everyone. Even my friends when one and pattern menala were and is a rich. I can't believe it. It's you yeah. Like na kwambia toka twende hapa village market, unasema you don't want. It's a for business. Yes, I just want I just want my space. And were you talking to anyone during this time? Dr. Duo, Dr. Duo is my guy now. Yeah, and uh, at least him, every time I could feel fishy, he's the one who I, I used to, because I didn't even want any advice for my friends. Yeah, and, yeah, and let's Google. After we've done Googling, let me talk to Dr. Duo uh, if he'll help me to sour. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm to I'm 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 just good. But you know why? <laughs> It's, it's actually amazing because uh, some people, some women go through that. Mm. They don't want to shower, they don't want to spend, but, and then you, you get into the house and they're like, calling my money, what I keep it. Mona, I can't keep it. You know, but yeah. you get this actually, but most that are great. Yeah, but I think God, my friends are very understanding. Yeah. Even if, when you want to do a see what me, they still care. Mm. Anyway, most, they actually, most of you. them, yeah, because they knew it wasn't me, but they could, like, you know, they're funny. Yeah, so they used to whisper a lot. Yeah, but I thank God, yeah, yeah, for that. Yeah. yeah. And the baby is now almost two years. Yeah, almost two years. In fact, yeah. So question is, um, as as we go through this pregnancy process, how important do you think it is for you to have to get speed? I'm imagining like for me, my sisters were very instrumental because it was my first pregnancy. I don't know. Uh I'm, I'm not understanding why I'd have a hernia. I think you guys went to that. Mm -hmm. No? God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. You know what a honey is? 
don't happen to speak about things in DRT. Honey is as a part of your work. Even if Google go crazy. Google is right. But I, I had to go to the doctor. I'm like, why am I having honey? Mm. Why am I having honey? Honey, so it's part of your body that pops out of the back. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad for <laughs> Parang. <laughs> We're talking about it. At least now we know. <laughs> Why is it happening? Because a party where the pressure is on your stuff, mm-hmm. and the baby is putting pressure on your body. Mm-hmm. Some of it. That's just the one yeah. to stay in. I thought that's the key point. That is the thing. Okay. So, yeah, it's sort of like. It's hard as just anything popping. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I need counseling after this. Popping anywhere, right? Well, mostly. Like, <laughs> what <laughs> what <laughs> but yeah, what happened to me? And I called my sister. Then they laughed at me. They laughed at me. But then again, they explained. You know, so I had to call my doctor as well. I went to the hospital, and my husband was also there. He's trying to protect me and pretend that he's really there. <laughs> Baby, I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> it was very traumatizing for me, especially. Yeah. But I was like, what? What? What is this? Why? You know, why can I? Why am I feeling some things? But yeah, it happened. So, one of the things that happened that were very... You were still here with them? Yeah. I'm still trying to get over it. Like, were there things that happened that were <laughs> foreign for you guys? Hmm. Maybe not as extreme as a hernia, but yeah. I, th- I think with my second baby, I'm telling you it was bad. It was a bad treatment. Okay. Um, I, 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 I had, I used to have UTIs. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Every single week. Yeah. Every mm-hmm. single week. So UTI comes with bleeding. Mm-hmm. Some, some UTIs, yeah. they come with bleeding. So I used to have that a lot and I used, I used to find it weird. Mm-hmm. So I used to have scans every month. Oh, yeah, to confirm. <laughs> yes, to confirm mm-hmm. his baby is okay. Yeah. Why am I bleeding? Even, if, even when the doctor tells me, it's, it's okay. okay. Yeah. Right, no, it's not okay with me. Let me go for a scan. Yeah, so I think that is one of the most weirdest things that happened to me. Okay. Bleeding when I'm still pregnant. Yeah. yeah. Especially after what happened. I'd be yeah. totally normal. Yeah. He would be afraid. Yeah. 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 After now, closer to birth. Eh? I know, for me, I went to the doctor and I said, uh, I actually called her one evening. Uh, I told the doctor, I want this baby one week early. I think for me, it was just intuition. Mm. God just gave me his stuff to do it because mm. I had it. We had a situation with the baby with a cold and like, no. Yeah, so we were supposed to go two weeks later. Mm-hmm. And then I just went to the room one evening and told my sisters, I'm giving birth and we're getting this baby out next week because I was going through CS. Mm-hmm. And so he only to realize that the day when we, the baby was taken out, there was a cold. And oh, yeah, it was twice. It had gone round <gasps> twice. And once. So this for me, I felt like what was this, what had happened mm-hmm. with me with death mm-hmm. to make a decision. Mm-hmm. But for you guys, how was it now? You know, going into this. Did you go? No, what was it says? So with Hazel, I was like me. I was ready to, you know, give birth. Push. Yeah, the normal, the normal, the normal way. So mm-hmm. I had you done my research thoroughly. Like mm-hmm. I, you know, uh, but but like you know, just to go back a little bit, what you say like it's important for you to have full working with you. Mm-hmm. I wish I did. You know, mm-hmm. I like I wish with Hazel that I had like maybe a doula or. Even just someone there. Mm-hmm. Um, because then I was there thinking, ah, we need to What are you saying? Right? And Kosawa. So, um, but it was actually pretty fast because uh, my water broke. Mm-hmm. Uh, my water broke at around like maybe seven. Then by ten, we were in the uh, hospital. I was like six centimeters very little. Mm-hmm. And within like two hours, you know, I was ready to, you know, to push out all the uh, three day little. Um, but then I couldn't do it. Like I was. The like ghost in turn yet, and I was tired. And I'm just remembering, like, you know, that mask that serves, you know, like, you're, like, I'm sure you don't think you're strength mm-hmm. when it's time to push, then you're gonna have, you know, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. So I, I honestly, like, I couldn't, like, I couldn't push. Um, so, you know, try, try to add to for yes, to see, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I actually, I wish I had you know, going with someone. Mm. Like, like I wish I had like maybe a doula or you know, like, like someone to support and help. I think I'll be, probably I would have managed mm. to push the baby out. And this, so you think your body was exhausted by the time you had? Yeah, because, um, so what I did the previous night, before not waking up at, you know, my water break at 7 a.m., I was trying to, because then I was, I was good, like, I was eating pineapples and pins. 
and you know like jumping jumping on the you know trampoline yeah uh, so you know trying to induce and <laughs> <laughs> you had to be there <laughs> so i was i was literally like trying to induce liver but i think what induced was the pineapples i ate those pineapples really? they do what yeah i was told you're not supposed to eat them when you oh no they, 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 they help you they help oh, at that time the toward the end so i ate many pineapples and dates and the following morning mm. at 7 a.m my water Okay, yeah. Was, yeah. Okay. Like for me, it really works. The pine, the pineapples. I need to cook the So yeah, and it was like it, 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 it the labor uh, proceeded very fast. It was by it like around 11, 12. Yeah. I was fully donated, ready to jump on the bed. So the the part I did factor in is the support that I you know like you can do this. Yeah. Mm. So, so I, I I wish I had thought about it because then at that time. At that particular time, I was not able to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. So, at least now, working with someone, having somebody. It's, it's important. Yeah. It's important. It's a waste time. And we are. Yeah. Anyway, towards the end, uh, first baby, second, uh, first. Because both, both are, yeah, they're different. Mm-hmm. Like, the first baby, I was induced. Thank you. Then Asha, our son, I was induced. But at the end of the day, I ended up. Oh, so yes, yes. Mm. Yeah, I, I dilated, I think, to around, up to around five, five centimeters. Mm. Now with the second baby, it was normal. Now I did a CS. Then with the second baby, I really wanted to push. I really wanted to push. Why? So I, w- I thought they said you didn't have a CS. You have to do a CS all the way. No, um, Doctor Duo told me, or rather my guy now, mm. uh, he told me it's okay. Your your sky is healed. Oh, it's with them healed. healed. Okay. Three years. Oh. I think my guy was three years old. Mm. So. We can try push, but we can't induce you. Okay. Yeah, we can't induce you. So we are giving you six hours to give birth. Mm. <laughs> so you have a time. <laughs> yes, I have a time for it. Uh, if you if you start labor, we are giving mm. you six hours. If mm. by that time you won't be six, six, uh, ten centimeters, mm. we take you yes. for CS. Mm. Yeah, and that is what happened. But I really had passion. I really, you know, I had I wanted to push that baby out. I was like, no, no, please <laughs> give me a <laughs> chance. <laughs> One hour, two <laughs> to one hour, because I was six centimeters already. Wait, please. So the doctor is there telling us um, now cesarean is inevitable. I'm like, ah, please, no, can we talk? Mm. Just a little. Can you bit. attempt to negotiate? Yes. <laughs> to push. Yes. I was telling the doctor now. Why? Why were you so see, passionate about? Push? I don't know, but I was passionate. I really. You just wanted to. the feeling. Yes. Next I wanted. I, I think it's the experience that I really mm. wanted. Mm. So I was mentally prepared. Yeah. And I googled enough, mm. and I had talked to the doctor, mm. and I was telling everyone, I'm pushing the baby out. I am so ready. So when I labored, I was like, I think I'm in labor. <laughs> then the you doctor really was like, push. remember we have six six hours? Yeah. Mm. So by six hours, Kisha, we expect to this baby out. Mm. Yeah, so, but unfortunately, by the time mm. I was get the six hours were up. There, I was, I think, around six to seven or around seven centimeters. Mm. So that's why I was negotiating because I was, I was I'm, I'm thinking, mm. I'm, I'm almost very close. Yeah, I'm I'm almost close. Yeah. Just a few centimeters. Mm. Give me a chance. Mm. Then it was like, now you see, if we give you a chance, you, you're, you're okay. What about the baby? Because, baby. Uh, yeah, because yeah. you have to consider. Yeah, yeah, what about the baby? Is the mm. baby okay? Mm. So they did a heartbeat. The baby was not doing so well. Because mm. even after the baby came out, she had to be like uh, a lot happened in it. Yeah. I think we'll talk about it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But well, we thank God she's yeah. here and she's here. Yeah. She's here. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. We thank God. Yeah. And babe, let's pray that the next one is push. Yeah. Yeah. Man. How, how long are you giving yourself though? No, it takes soon as now. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? Yeah. As soon as now, that guy needs to work hard. But <laughs> <laughs> they're watching. <laughs> you heard that? Yes, please. But then now, um, the experience of you know just holding that baby in your arms. I think as we wind up, I want to. How was that for you? Just ex- especially after coming from such a long journey of, you know, at the back of your mind, always wondering, will this one come to an end? Will I hold this baby? Will I give birth? And then having an experience during birth, and you're wondering, will I do this day? Yeah. Uh, so I think from that very first cry, I don't think any mother can get used to hearing your baby cry for the, for the first time. time. That cry. Um, and then you know, so like it's uh, of course with CS they 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 bring the baby you know for uh, at least yes, mm. yeah. Mm. Um, so that that was I so amazing. Mm. Like I, I I can remember for Hazel, for Miles, for Noah, like it was yesterday. I think it's the best 
for me it's the best feeling as a human being hearing your baby cry and then when they bring the baby to your chair so nothing of that so i think um just about being very intentional with each child mm. so that you know i have a relationship with Hazian that's different from mine that's mm. different from Noah because they are actually very different so the, that the quality time and getting that time and balancing that with work mm. is difficult but you know we're just we're trying yeah. huh. there's grace there's grace mm. very like god's grace is very sufficient that's good. Okay. for you rage um we left it at <laughs> Going now after all these processes that have happened, mm. um, and then now you finally held your babies. Mm. How was that feel? Uh, with the first baby, it was an amazing feeling. Mm. Remember, all this time I was worried mm. about I want my baby, I want yeah. to hold my yeah. baby. Mm. Now that was an amazing feeling. Mm. With my second baby, mm. it was different because after baby came out, she had swallowed the amniotic fluid. Whoa. She didn't cry. Um. So I saw people running around, yeah. so it was traumatizing mm -hmm. to me. First, I, first of all, I, I see, you know, they explain to you after this, we are going to do this and bring the baby to you, mm -hmm. skin to skin and all that. Mm -hmm. Not this time, the baby is out of just her, ah, then everyone is running. Mm -hmm. then, and you can't lift yourself yeah, and up. And I can't lift myself up. Mm -hmm. Then my husband is shooting, mm -hmm. then he also panics and follows the baby. So I asked the doctor, uh, why is everyone running around? Yeah. Why, why didn't I hear the baby cry? Yeah. The, the doctor was trying to calm it down. Ah, mm. it will be okay. Then after a few minutes, from the other side, I heard the baby cry. So I had to ask the doctor, is that my baby? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and uh, they brought the baby to me after around maybe 15, 20 minutes, mm. which I was feeling it's a long yeah. time. That's a long time. Yeah. 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 Long time. Yeah. Yes, it's a lot a lot uh, so they came and I was like, where's my baby? They keep brought the baby and I cried because first of all, of the scare. Mm. That scare, it was bad, you know. Then, um, that's now after that, that's when my husband was telling me, but then you know, like literally. Mm. And you know he was shooting everything, then he stopped shooting at some point because he was also in the panic mode. Mm. So, yeah, it was amazing. It was an amazing... <laughs> oh. Eat both now. <laughs> and now after, now dealing with, uh, first of all, of course you had baby, then for three years you get this beautiful baby again. Yeah. How has it been just handling uh, now two babies, sharing the love? I hear people saying, you never know how to share this love, but it does happen. Yes, it does happen. Uh, first of all, I think uh, I worked with a few friends of mine mm. who were like second or third parents, yeah? Mm -hmm. And they were telling me, rather I followed what they told me. They told me, you see, the, 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 the small one is still very small. Mm. So make sure you show more love to this other one, mm. the first one, because this one can't understand now. Yeah. But this big one will understand mm. Uh, mm. that you've like... Um, neglected, you've neglected. You don't, yeah, actually, feel it. Yes, mm. yes. So I literally had to give him more time. Our okay. first child, I had to give him more time yeah. than the small one. Yeah. So we had to do like I had to do like everything with him. Okay. Yes, for for me to make him feel loved yeah. and I've yeah. not neglected you. Mm. Okay. Which up to date, he still says this is my baby. Actually, he oh. usually calls the sister my baby. <laughs> yeah. Akwapi <laughs> mototo so yangu. Akwapi <laughs> mototo yangu. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe for you, uh, Joanne, as we wind up, for moms who are watching you, they're saying, I have three babies or I have two babies and they are this young, mm. I'm, I'm back to work. I know the, the struggle of having to leave that baby in the house with nanny and then you're just back to work after three yeah. months. For us, it's three months. Yeah. Can it? What would you say to them? Because they feel like they've underdone it. Maybe they're not good enough. Not yeah. Mm. Uh, there. Yeah, it's true. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got fun. I'm not so sure whether I would want anyone to follow my advice because I feel like it's more yeah, than you. you know, I just don't know what I'm doing. I'm, you know, I'm just doing things. Um, hmm? Of course, it's like for me, I, I found it very challenging balancing work yeah. and, you know, like the raising, uh, raising them. Um, so, you know, like what I would say, I would say, extend yourself to this because then you cannot be everywhere you know like at the same time yeah unfortunately 
Um, so like when I'm working, I want to be working 100%. When I'm being mommy, yeah. I want to be mommy 100%. Mm -hmm. and, and also um, accepting that there's, there's you see, like if if uh, if I was a stay at home mom and I had like you know all the time with my kids, of course I'd give them. I, I think I'd you know more, even like more time and more everything. Yeah. Um. But now I'm not able to. So, just also knowing that you know, um, do I have like three hours or five hours, and how can I maximize the three hours or five hours to to do everything that I want to do with them? So, you know, like for me, um, I, I normally call it. The, the rule of nine. So nine minutes, you know, early in the morning before like going to school, and then immediately they come from school, and then before, the, you know, bedtime. So those three times, mm -hmm. I try as much as possible. Like to me, those three times are untouchable. Okay. Sometimes I'm not able to, you know, for one reason or the other. Maybe like I have work, I'm not able to be there. Mm -hmm. uh, but I try and make sure that the time, you know, the times I'm spending with them is very consistent. Okay. So the third, then they know when they wake up in the morning, mommy's going mommy's to be there. Mommy's going, there. going to be there to tuck me in at night. Mommy's going to be there, you know. Immediately, I come from school. For you, Rach, um, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's somebody who's watching and saying, yeah, I never knew this is what you went to. Yeah. And and probably I have gone through half of what you've gone through, or I'm currently going through it. What would you say to that, even as, as we wind up? Okay, first of all, uh, pregnancies are different. Yeah. They must know that. Yeah, and they must know that babies are different. Mm. As much as they're siblings, totally, totally different. Mm. So it's okay for you not to be okay That's very true. <laughs> yeah it's That's very okay true. if you feel exhausted just talk to someone look for someone talk to them because i've had friends who have had postpartum depression which has really affected them and all that just talk to someone yeah okay mm. thank you so much guys it's been such an honor and exciting to you know it's exciting to just listen to sit down and share and i believe that there's a lot of women out here watch today and, and they feel i, I can I, I am okay mm -hmm. if joan has hacked i will hack if rachel has mm -hmm. has hacked i will hack mm -hmm. so thank you so much i know babies were supposed to be here but they all went to play guys they forgot about us yeah they, are going to they forgot the, they are the reasons <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there is one for the season. You know, but I'm excited. Thank you so much for coming on the show and being our very first guest. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Such an honor. Thank you so much. Mm. And for you watching back at home, wherever you're watching, thank you so much for staying tuned. Be sure to catch our next episode, of course, with the Cradle Love by Gracie Graffa. We will have more exciting uh, topics and more exciting guests on the show as we continue. So for now, it's a goodbye.